my name's Deborah Ware. Um, I'm a community member um, from Tantai. I lived in the community for uh, about nearly four years uh, on the Mornington Peninsula. It's a low socioeconomic area, and uh, I love we love doing community um, with people and our neighbours. Um, some of the initiatives that we've done is Pay It Forward Festival. Um, and the idea about Pay It Forward is uh, we organise a festival that is free. It's, uh, people get gifts. Um, it's kind and generous acts, but we also encourage um, community members to then pass on uh, those, uh, those gener that generosity. Um, pass it on by doing kind gestures for others. So uh, basically this has had a ripple effect on our community. Um, we uh, have had the council involved. We've had uh, Mornington Caring Communities involved. Um, it's meant that we can network with people in our community. We've helped them to get volunteer jobs at the local op shop. Um, we've connected them in with uh, our jigsaw church service, our local churches, um, but more importantly uh, we do dinner with people on a regular basis, um, they ask us to pray for them and um, yeah we just help to spread a bit of hope um, in our community so I see um, the kingdom advancing um, with uh, people coming to us and uh, seeing um, our kind and generous acts and they know that we're Christians and um, they want to be involved and empowered. Um, and we have a beautiful community garden. We invite people for uh, dinners and um, at the community garden and lunches and we, uh, we help, they, they then learn how to grow veggies and um, reap the benefits of the produce. So. Yeah, it's about loving our neighbours, caring for them, having open houses and and um, having that ripple effect. Recording now. Uh, the perfect uh, example um, from the ripple effect of Pay It Forward uh, is one of our community members. He's he's known across, um, across our neighbours and our neighbourhood. Everyone knows him in the area. He's a beautiful fellow and... Um, he uh, helps out at Pay It Forward. Um, he has helped out on the sound desk, and um, he has, you know, he has some interesting issues, um, mental illness, um, and uh, he has struggles with addiction. Um, but one incredible um, outcome uh, from him paying it forward is he helps out in the soup kitchen in the local area. Um, and he has committed to uh, the local Catholic Church and um, he, uh, he, he loves being um, at those nights, continuing to help others in our community that, uh, that, that might not have any food and he loves serving dinner and caring for others. So, yeah. Awesome.